Hello everyone, today we're going to haul to do some live rowing. So, let's see how it goes. In this video, I will share some of my long rowing process. So, my blocking consists on placing the figure in the page. At this moment, I'm just looking at angles and trying to combine straight lines and long sweeping lines just to keep the pencil flowing. So, I'm trying to get a gesture of the figure also placing some of parts of the figures where they should be but I'm not worried too much about the proportions of the stage I'm just trying to get a sense of flow I place a close attention to angles for example from shoulder to shoulder and breast to breast then I follow the same procedure in a small scale for the face, comparing angles with each other and also connecting them like a puzzle. So if you notice the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose and the mouth, they all follow the same angle direction. So keep that in mind as well when you're drawing. I am taking my time, try not to rush at the stage looking at the angles of the face from the eye I can see with a straight line where the mouth is going to be I'm not only using straight lines but I also using some extraction lines also known as the Riley method to connect some part of the face and at this moment I also trying to give some planes to the face now I use a base of the chin to draw a straight line down. This line will indicate the body features that are placed in the same line. Notice how I use my pencil to compare the angles of my drawing with the model and then do the corrections necessary. In this case is the angle of the chin with the shoulder and how the neck connects with the back. It is really important to take your time and make all the connections necessary. Concentrate especially on proportions. Now I have most of the head work. I use this as a reference for measuring the rest of the body and to correct the proportions only after I are established the gesture lines. I always use the head as a reference for the proportions, maybe because it's easier to change the body to fit the head, rather than change the head to fit the body, it is my personal opinion. Anyway, now I have a base drawing, I fade the line to serve me as an under drawing. At this stage, to act a structure, it's easier to simplify the line forms. For example, the forearm is like a cylindrical form that is connected to the arm. And think about what's under the arm. There are some bones and there are some muscles. But if you simplify it, it will make it easier for you as well. I go over the form, connecting some long lines rhythmically not to worry about what's behind of them just trying to connect them to the body 
using very long lines as you can see uh, thinking about the cylindrical form behind them and not worry about how it looks it's just how it interacts with the whole body also thinking about some anatomical features in this case I am thinking about the deltoid and how it connects to the scapula finally Looking at negative space, I work on the angles that the head produce against the background. See, although I am still using some straight lines, drawing features is a constant comparison of how they relate to each other. So keep that in mind as well when drawing small features like the eye or the mouth. After a short break, um, we go back into drawing. At this time, I'm gonna focus more on construction. After fading the lines, I just go over the lines, adding more information this time. Um, I really look at the subject and take my time. My biggest advice to do any life drawing will be to same time to observe really. I see many artists that look at the model for like one second and then they spend like a minute or two just doing their drawing which doesn't make sense to me. They are just working from their memory or maybe their imagination. I'm not sure. My advice would be even before you start have a good look at the model observe all the lines, how they connect and have a working plan depending on your time. Think about what the body is doing, where the weight is placed, um, all these things to consider even before you start the drawing. And going back to the drawing, I'm thinking about anatomy as I go, um, some of the muscles of the face. For me, it's so important to study anatomy but because that informs you a little bit about what's underneath the face, especially when there's not a lot of information because of the light of the studio doesn't give you no shadows. I'm trying to separate the planes of the head by adding more shadows. I add some bone structure and some face muscles using the Riley method just to connect some of the lines and make it easy for later. Then I look at the back of the skull and how the hair flows with the body. Um, I treat the hair same as the body as big shapes and don't worry about individual hair. I just think about them a shape and how they flow with the body. I'm trying to connect some of the parts of the body using more structure this time. The way I treat the hands is like a big shape and then also divide the fingers into small forms. It's easier if you think about them like this. Then I add some of the background just for composition purpose. After my composition is complete, I soften the lines again, so I can work on them again. I go over some of the structure, trying to make more clear for me for the next stage. Trying to correct as I go some of the mistakes so really looking closely, comparing my drawing to the model and trying to change. Usually very subtle, but it will be very important later on. So at this point, you really want to make sure that all the model features are there. By the way, if you like this video, let me know what you think on the comments so I can improve my next content. Let me know what you want to see, um, what would you like to learn, or 
even if you just like watching the process uh, just let me know it really helps so as you can see I'm separating the lights and shadows and the planes of the head and how the light is affecting the model I'm going over and over some of the darker places and trying to establish my values this time values meaning how dark some of the areas are so this will make the figure more three-dimensional finally with a brush I blend the pencil marks together and with an eraser I'll delete some of the lighter areas and this will be a good place to stop for the next stage I hope you like my process and see you next time bye